um heidi high campers i used to say that a lot when i was younger um and i didn't actually ever know where it was from but i think it's from a tv show God, i look really strange today I've, I've ascertained that looking at your face a lot is really weird um and um it makes you really zero in on things that you don't like about yourself um and then you sort of think that like I, I've, basically I did some filming the other day and I realised that I do a really strange smile and I say, better half, why do I pull such a strange smile like that? And she was like, that's just like, you know, your excited smile. I was like, no, I look really, it's anyway, you just start to zero in on things that are really not that important. There's that, the fact that I think I've got a strange smile and I've started to notice little things that I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. And, and, and I've looked into changing things that I don't like. And that's totally cool. If there are things you don't like about yourself, go ahead and change them. But there are things that I don't like about myself that I would change to conform to society's beauty standards. And that's okay if that's what you want to do. But I just, I can't, I can't. Mm. I just can't quite do that. Full transparency, one of them is my nose. Should we just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I'm, I'm, I don't know. From the side, like, your girl hates her nose, right? Well, hate's a strong word. We might not go with hate, but like, from, the, I'm trying to look. From the side, <laughs> from the side, I've got quite like a, a bridge at the, at the top. And... You know, if we we have a nickname for my nose in our household. Um, I won't say it because some might find it a bit offensive. So I won't say it. Um, it's not rude or anything, but I think some people might just be like, Laura, that's really rude to yourself. So I'm not going to say it. Um, and I've seen some influencers actually um, have these non-surgical nose jobs. And I looked into it when I was in London. I even got like a before and after photo of it. And I looked into it and I didn't didn't love the after so i was like well there's no point in me going ahead with it if i'm not that wowed by the after if you feel me this wasn't even what i was going to come on here and talk about but i just have noticed of late that when you constantly like when you spend a lot of your time looking back at yourself you start to see things from a different angle because the way i see myself on here is not how i see myself in the mirror um and you start to really look at yourself and be like Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. And so I can see why and how, you know, influencers that are a bit younger and maybe influencers that are a bit older because, you know, whatever, um, how they go down a very steep hole of getting Botox very young. Nothing wrong with Botox, but, you know, they tend to do it at a younger age, getting filler at a younger age, that sort of thing. And especially when people you are influenced by are also getting it... And you're looking at yourself a lot on a at yourself a lot on a screen. It just it becomes a really vicious cycle. This was not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about toast. Your girl's got a newfound love for toast. Um, but I, I'll leave that for another day. Cliffhanger. Um, what was I going to finish off with? For God's sake. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with changing your body in any way whatsoever if that's what you want to do. But my problem is. My nose, I see it as quite, you know, it's quite a family trait in my household. And I just, I'm like, I can't, I don't want to concede on that. There's an element of pride wrapped up in it. And I'm like, you know what? It cements me in my family, my nose. And I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, ride it out. There aren't many people with my nose. There's probably a lot of people that would have the after nose if I got the non-surgical procedure. Stick it out with my nose. Okay. When I next waver and think that I need some very petite Western white girl looking nose, remind me, no, Laura, keep your nose. I need, I could put something on a t-shirt. Hashtag, your nose is fine. Your nose is great. Because I feel like a lot of people have a complex about their nose. Holy shit, I've got to go. Love you, bye.